What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to talk about my bino harness. So the bino harness I he have here is made by Marsupial. Um, yes, it says Leopold on it, but all Leopold's bino harnesses are made by Marsupial. So I'm going to talk about how amazing I think this thing is and why it's the best bino harness you should buy. And if you're going to spend the money, this is where you should spend it. So I have hunted with two separate bino harnesses in the past. One was an Alaskan guide. And then the second one was a Badlands. The reason why I switched over to Marsupial, I wanted something more comfortable and I had an issue with noise on my Badlands. So as you can hear here, when you close that magnet, it is kind of loud. On the Badlands, it was so much worse. I would close it and you would hear it clap close. Um, it actually cost me a deer at one point because I bumped it and it didn't have a magnet on the bottom to hold it. Flipped up, kind of screwed me over. So we're gonna go into why I think this is so great. First off, is the size it's very close to your body and it sits exactly how i think you need it if you're trying to run and gun in the mountains or you're going after even games such as whitetails you try stalking up on a whitetail or you're trying to move around in that tree stand you don't want something big and cumbersome that's something i found with the alaskan guide that i had an issue with so i think this is perfect sizing um, and the shape of it is really great for your chest so let's get into some of these features so the front you have a zipper pocket with, I really like how big the zipper actually is on this because you have gloves on, whatever you got normally on, um, something in your hands. I like how big this zipper is to grab onto. Now the fabric is stretch, stretchy. Now it's really nice if you have, I just put chapstick in here right now, but normally I'll have an elk call in here and a couple diaphragms. It's nice to be able to push it in there, close it, and this keeps everything nice and dry and looking really good. So. On the sides, so each side you have these little pouches. Now, absolutely perfect for a wind checker. It's actually reinforced with this strap, or if you decided not to put anything on that pouch, this is actually made for where you can put on attachments such as range finders, what have you. So I really like it because with my wind checker in there, this kind of supports the wind checker a little bit better. So really like that. On this side, same thing. I have an ultra view button in there right now. Very easy to get out if I needed it, but Handheld release, if you want to have it on your chest, it fits in there great. Now on the back of the vinyl harness, you have this little elastic pouch. Now, it, they got this pretty tight, this elastic, which I really like because I put my hunting license in here, hunter safety card, slide it down there, and I know that sucker's not sliding out. It, it's on there, and it's going to stay in there. Now, also, the buckles that they made. The buckles are fantastic. Because of how large they are, I always know that they're gonna stay there. They're very well made. Um, on my Badlands, I had an issue with one of them breaking and I had to try to find one, couldn't, and ended up just switching to this guy. So, really like these buckles, very big. The locking mechanism, you're not gonna have this tether sliding in and out for no reason. It's gonna stay on exactly where it is. Now, moving along, the straps, they're about two and a half inches thick which I think is the perfect size. If you get too big of a strap, what you're gonna have when you have a pack on is it's gonna push down on your shoulders, it's gonna hurt. I think this is great. Now, added feature is at the back, they have this, it's about three and a half, four inches across little pad that sits in the middle of your back and it just kind of perfectly centers it in the middle of your back so you don't have to really worry about a giant pad. So if my Badlands had a pad about this big, and it would sit right in the middle of my pack and just rub right into my back as I would walk. So I think this is perfect. Something small, something where it's just gonna hold the weight right, great. Now, and they also made these straps come off to the sides instead of coming out the bottom. What I think that benefits is when it's on you, right here in the corners where your straps are actually gonna come, if it's out the sides, it, it kind of locks everything down into your shoulders. If it goes down, your whole harness is gonna to wanna to droop forward on your chest. It's not gonna stay up high or stay where you want it to. It's gonna continually droop down and it's gonna look like you have a low sagging bra at some point. So it's gonna be all messed up. So I think this is exactly where you need it. They have the little added loop for you guys that live in states where you gotta have your license clipped onto the back of uh, you at all times. It's great for that. Obviously made in the United States. Okay, now let's get into this pouch. So. You got this big tab on the top. The big tab is what you're gonna use to pull it open and close it. Now what's nice is when you hear it close, it does make a little bit of noise, but it's not bad. But when you have to close it, if you're holding on the strap and you bring it up, 
you don't hear it at all. It's just three magnets in the top of the lid here. And then when it opens all the way, there's three magnets on the bottom and it'll hold that open, that lid. And you can shake it, you can move it, that ain't coming out. Now these are Leopold 12 by 50 Pro Guides and they fit perfectly in there, very snug. And the inside is all made out of that felt material to protect your binos. Now when they slide in there, I don't even put a tether on them because I know that it's gonna fit so well. I don't have to worry about them. I'll walk around in the woods like this if I need to, pull my binos out with this little open cut here. Anytime I need to, just pull them in and out. Um, and then when it gets kind of stormy out or if I'm gonna be moving for a little ways, just close it up. So I really like that concept. Really like how it sits, does fantastic. Now one drawback I would say is they do make one that is fully enclosed. This one is not. I actually like this one. I don't end up in a lot of dusty environments riding on a four wheeler for long periods of time where it's gonna push up a lot of dust into it. Um, and for snow, rain, this does more than enough. Uh, if you were worried about that, you live in like Arizona, New Mexico, uh, Utah in some places, I would, okay, maybe get the fully enclosed one. Colorado here, the only time I'm on a four wheeler is during rifle season and you got more snow and wet ground than you have to worry about dust. So I really don't, not too concerned with it. I think this does phenomenal for the price point. I think it's perfect. So that's the lid. So moving over, I have one accessory on here and that is the rangefinder pouch. Now rangefinder pouch, just like the vinyl harness, one magnet at the top, opens up, stays open. I like that because when it's on my chest, I can just grab that rangefinder. It's on your hand that you're probably gonna use the rangefinder on anyways. So you can hold the bow with the other hand, pull it out. Now they do make a cord from them that attaches. I just spent 15 cents and got some paracord, just whooped it up and I like it because I got it just enough where I can pull this all the way up to my face, look at it and then put it in and I don't have so much cordage just hanging around. So if you can see, I only have very little. So when this is actually closed, I don't have to worry about catching it on something, it connecting, really like little easy fix. And what I really like about the rangefinder pouch is because it connects right through this back loop here, instead of putting it on the side, I just put it right next to it, works out great. So if you're in the market for a new vinyl harness, go with the marsupial and you will not be disappointed. Thanks guys.